What's up YouTube? We've got a video to show you guys. Um, I know I haven't talked about this phone that much, but I'm going to right now since I got the chance. Uh, been back from my trip of uh, North Carolina. I haven't posted those other videos up yet, but I know in the making of uh, after this video is uploaded, you already see them. The reason why it takes... Uh, so long for me to make another one and I appreciate you guys' patience and I appreciate as of the day of I'm making this video This might be uploaded three days from now or so, but I got 39 subscribers So I appreciate you guys. So let's go ahead and do a little small tech talk video I am going to see if I can make it shorter around 10 minutes I just found out this phone won't record over get four gigs of video So I'm a little disappointing in that so I'm gonna find out if there's a way to Make the internal memory a, not a FAT32, but maybe something else. Because, you know what, can't handle 4 gigs. So, yeah, we all know that's, we all know that's what she said, or he says, go for it. But the LG V10 is actually a really good smartphone. And I mainly use it just for the camera, for a green screen. But I also like its feature that it has in the background. That if you don't want to type in your password, just put your finger behind it. So that's one of the things that I really, really, really like about it. So I've been playing around with the fingerprint uh, sensor. I love the second screen. It wouldn't work for me when I was in Greyhound, so I don't know why. I was riding the bus, and I'm sitting right here swiping, and it won't swipe for some reason. I'm guessing that's what I'm finding out now is I wasn't doing it right. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. It won't let me skip my music or anything like that. I had to manly do it. Just go in here, go to my music, and just skip along. Um, another thing is, for owning this phone for a couple of weeks, that's not a scratch. I know that for sure. That's what we're going to get to is about scratches. Give me a minute. I might have spilt soda or something right near it because I was eating food near this phone when I got home. Um, there are some scratches. As you can see right there, there's a scratch right there. And I did some videos about, oh, how good is this phone against scratches or whatever it may face. Well, it sure as hell won't deal with dirt or lint or whatever you may have in your pocket. And now you can sit there and say, oh, it can go well with your keys. I won't even put my phone near Keys, but these scratches, I'm not going to sit here and whine about it. I'm just mainly be using this phone as a camera. My G3 doesn't got a perfect screen. The only phone that's got a perfect screen out of these two is the G4. And my G4 screen performance or durability, I should say, and you guys hear not a phone in the background. I'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, the G4 screen is a lot better than the V10s for durability. Yes, I dropped this phone plenty of times, but mainly it's on its back or whatever. I don't have no, uh, uh, what's that word I'm looking for, scruffs against the metal sides of it or anything wrong with the camera lens or the whole nine yards. Those held up pretty just fine after dropping this phone a few times. But going in and out of my pocket for a couple of weeks... My G4, even for as careful I was with it, my G4 pretty much just beat this screen right here. Because when I was waiting for my screen protector for the G4, and when I was being very careful where I put it in my pocket, no matter if it had lint, dirt, or whatever, the G4 screen was never scratched. It did not get harmed in any way. And after a few weeks later, after getting my replacement of the G4, yes, my first one had a problem. Um... I cleaned off the screen and there were no signs of scratches whatsoever. So the G4 does a really nice job going against scratches than the V10. Sorry LG, but you should have kept the screen to where it's more like the G4 and I'm amazed about that. So if I ever do get rid of my G4, the phone's going to be worth a lot of money. I got a case, a screen, protect, uh, yeah, a screen protector and it's glass. I'm going to show you the guys the reason why I use this phone for green screening. I'm going to try to make this video quick. Is whenever I deal with green screen, my G4 is always in the warmer colors because of the lighting. As of right now, this phone is not wanting to do it. 
But it's just the way I got it set up that I'm more like orange type deal. So with the V10, I have control of the color. Uh, you know what? Let's pull up something a little challenging. My three terabyte drive. Um, where am I at? Yeah, because I had a set already to cool. With my skin color, you know, I'm sitting right here with Sam doing a tech talk about hard drives. Yeah, how good is this green Western Digital hard drive? Blah, blah, blah. But my G4 is forcing itself, well, not forcing, but going with a, a more warmer color. And I'm like, I don't like it. I want a phone to where I can just take videos and be able to adjust it. So I want it nice and clean, as you guys can see how... I got my original skin color back compared to here, as you guys see outside the phone, to where I really want it because the lighting is warmer. So now you guys have a good, clean look feel of the whole hard drive. The colors will stand out. As you can see, the green kind of stands out. The blue stands out definitely because of the white balance. But yeah, the green kind of stands out too, as I can see. And I can just do a lot of other things. Another thing is, is the ISO, I have it around 150, I don't need it down to 50, but they said uh, for green screen, I have about 150, 160, and for the shutter speed, well, I don't need to worry about shutter speed, I'm keeping that as one third of a, one thirty of a second. Another cool thing is, as they were telling you, is that make sure you're close, make sure you get your body in there. But for the background, like the blue you see there, the blue is blurred out, but the hard drive is clear as day. And that was one of the things that I was worrying about, that if I wanted to, if the whole background is blue like this, I can just tell the program I want to chroma key the blue background out, and it will cut along. Right now it's not, like, sharp anymore. But it doesn't matter. You guys will see it. If the hard drive is so clear, the program will cut along the nice uh, along the edge, making it look nice. So that's the things I use this phone for. Now I want to show you guys another phone. Now you guys might sit there and ask a question. Holy cow, it's going on seven minutes. Where am I getting all these phones? Am I a rich dude but don't know how to make a YouTube channel or what? Uh, for one, I'm not rich. I wish I was rich. That way I can buy like over a hundred phones and I can do tutorials. Boom, boom, boom all day just for you guys, including people in XDA. I would love to do something like that, but sadly, I'm not rich. If I can get this channel to where it needs to be, getting all that money flowing in, I don't mind buying an iPhone and show you guys how to jailbreak it. I don't mind buying in the newest iPhone and smashing it against that fucking wall over there. Because I'm making money for that. As of right now, I'm not. I'm not going to smash these phones because I love this phone. I love this phone. Well, I don't know the Windows phone that well. So, I can't tell you how I feel about it. Other than I should love this phone because it came from my brother. And I love this phone because I finally paid it off. And where I'm getting these phones, the V10 and the G3 and the G4, it's from my brother. Now, back then, I was kind of making money. As you guys can see, I got... Three, four, five, five point five terabytes sitting here plus one more, so six point five terabyte hard drives here. I had a good paying job till I moved up here and I don't want to get into that story right now, so we'll leave it as that. But I wouldn't mind when I got that kind of money, I wouldn't mind doing tutorials, but I've never thought of getting into cameras and I'm pretty much following the footsteps of my friend his photography. He spent a lot of money building the computer and I've seen his setup. And then later on, dude, where's your computer? Oh, I got sick of computers. Check out this camera. Fair, seriously, dude, you went from computers to photography. At first, I thought, what the hell are you thinking? Is that something lame? No. I'm into photography now, and I don't give two shits about computers now. I got a laptop sitting right next to me. So, yeah. Um... But as of right now, I moved, and my brother is nice enough to let me use his Verizon account. I'm the manager of the account, so I'm paying this phone. This one's already fully paid off, so after I got this phone paid off, I got this phone. And the G4 is still being paid off as well. And it's going through my brother's credit. So my brother was nice enough to let me use his account because a college screwed me over. I didn't trust any contracts or anything. So he signed a contract for me because of that issue. 
And the college I was going to was going to teach me how to do graphic designing and stuff, but I got fucked. And I got problems. I got autism. I have a little bit of retardation. I'm also legally blind. You guys might not see that now, but I'm telling you now, I do have those, and it's no lie. You guys might think, oh, no, you're bullshit. I'm not. My mama died. It took me about seven, eight years to at least deal with the problems I have. And here and there, I have a hiccup, but I'm still learning. And that's for me going, uh, maybe that could be the sign of the autism. Because sometimes I'm getting a lot of things going through my mind. And I, I'm just like sitting right here. Well, what was I going to do? And I got a few friends of mine giving me tips on how to do that. I haven't taken those tips yet because they're probably going to come up here. Where the hell's that uh, chalkboard or board that you can write your damn notes on? Oh, I'm going to kick your ass, you Nate. Take my ideas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to joke with me about that, but it is a joke. But I want to give a big thanks to my brother. So this phone here, if you guys out there know a method on how to jailbreak or root this phone, I don't know what they will call it for um, Windows it could be Windows hack for all I know, but we got root for uh, Android, and as for iPhone, it's jailbreak. So Windows, I don't know, probably say it could be a hack that's called screw Windows, and you have all the access you want to the operating system. And I'm pretty sure there are some, because I really want to make this a more nicer purple than the purple it gives you. And yes, I love purple. It was my mama's favorite color. She's no longer here, so I don't care what anybody says. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Um, there's another thing. I got an HTC phone. This phone was also donated. I can't do much with this phone because the USB port is completely screwed up and there is no one click root methods, but it was a head boss of the company I was working for. And uh, he went through an upgrade, and I told him, if you don't want your phone no more, it's not worth it or anything, do you mind passing it down to me? What are you going to use the phone for? Because I'm hoping you're not going to turn around and sell it. No, sir, I'm not going to turn around and sell it. And as you guys can see, I still have the phone here for a couple of years of owning it. It's not even activated because that's the kind of respect I have whoever gives me the phones. That, that includes my brother. He doesn't want me to go turn around and activate this phone on straight talk or whatever. Because my request is, can I have the phone? Yeah, bro, you can have it. We'll clear out my stuff. Well... He can't find certain things he can't find on the phone when I gave it to him. So I cleared it out, gave him all his backups that he need off this phone. And he told me, if I ever get rid of this phone, to give it back to him first. Don't activate this phone. And I, I'm not planning on activating it. I don't got that kind of money laying around. The only time I'll activate this is if I'm going through Greyhound and I get somebody mugging me and stealing all my phones, but they didn't get this one to where I might have it. Yes, I carry more than one phones with me in case I do get mugged or whatever, which I doubt. I don't even see that happening because I do come prepared for these trips. But if that ever does happen, I have a phone here. I have a phone there. They're all scattered everywhere. You're not going to get all of them all at once. You got... Some chances you may run away with just these two phones and have these three somewhere else because you ain't got no access to them. And if these two phones are like down or they got broken because I got mugged or whatever, but this one's not touched, then yes, I'm going to use it. But I got more backups before I even have to call Verizon and go, hey, you need to activate this phone. Um, but yeah, these phones were donated and it's going through my brother's account. Now I'm going to show one more thing. Uh, to you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I know it's going over 10 minutes, so let's just shoot for 15. Well, it's just going to be a minute long. As you guys can see there on my laptop, YouTube Creator Academy. And don't mind that. You guys are going to see that on the video later on, and I got a story to tell why there's cracks on my laptop screen. But when I'm doing a repair video, I will be explaining how that happened is more of an anger problem and that kind of you know i just say it right now that problem it's just more of an anger problem that's about as far as i go but my brother saw that right there and uh, my brother told me the truth about what happened i'm not gonna mention it um but i told my brother out of exchange that do you mind helping me fix my laptop and he said sure you know, after one incident, it's just private. Uh, my brother's like, you know, instead of paying money for this certain thing, 
I'll go ahead and help you fix your laptop. The part's going to cost me $220, but there will be a repair video for the Acer Aspire R7 on how to replace the screen. But that's what I'm going to do right there is a YouTube Creator Academy, and I'm going to be doing a lot of learning. And I'm talking so damn much, the video's going up to 15 minutes. Why am I so damn bad at this? I'm like, blah, 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 shut the hell up. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for the subscribers. Thanks for your guys' patience. Uh, share my videos to all your friends. Make that number rack up to 100. As I'm promising you guys now, as you guys heard on my last video when I was in Erie, that the Ice Bucket Challenge is still up. At this making of this video, 39 subscribers. I need 61 more. Is it 61? Yeah. No, I don't think it's 60. Yeah, yeah, it's 60. <laughs> My math is off. 61 more uh, subscribers to go. Yes, it is 61. My brain is fried. Curse you, Greyhound, and your 22-hour trip. Nah, Greyhound's fine, you guys. You will we'll love it. Going cross-country, taking awesome pictures, let you guys see, and it's totally worth it. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.